Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. If you care about our people. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Commander? Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Once again, commanded by Admiral Corus, thanks to you. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, well, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce- Uh-oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Hello, Shepard. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Corians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep you safe from the Geth, and themselves. Commander?
Heard about what happened down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own program. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. Dad. Dad, uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Spirits. Please, watch over them. Let me see them again. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Not right now. Greetings, Commander. Ready for the next mission? Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. Commander. Shepard. My board is green. A 
I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Radon. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Good to see you, Commander. I still can't believe you went inside again. I, I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Hey. Hey there. Good dog. Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position. And just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander? Like the Geth plasma shotgun, the Spitfire is not a true energy weapon. Instead, the minigun magnetically flings clusters of superconducting toroids. 